it's exciting to be here because the buildings are brand new. They're only about four years old. The architecture was inspired by Frank Lloyd Wright, uh, a favorite architect of our founder and chancellor, Tom Monaghan. And that's very interesting to me as a professor of American literature because um, Frank Lloyd Wright is an important architect. He found the American voice in architecture and he built his inspiration really, I think, from Emerson and from the Emersonian call for an American voice. The space is the thing for me that is really important in this inspiration from Wright. Uh, as a former dancer, I'm very used to space and being in the presence of space, and that's what architecture does. It controls space, and it controls it in such a way that we actually feel our bodies, we feel our being. And being out here, in, just in a space like this, okay, that's very open. Um, if you look at the library, for example, in the openness of the reading room, uh, the use of nature in the greenery that's growing up on the buildings, uh, this gives you a very strong sense of presence, which I think is important. One of Wright's uh, major principles in architecture is using nature and building out of nature. And an example of that is the kind of cantilevering that you see here in the, la in the library. And cantilevering is a way of balancing an extension, a perpendicular extension, with the gravity of the rest of the building. This is the third floor of the academic building. Uh, it contains classrooms and office spaces. And opposite us here is the library, which also has a very large, spacious, open uh, reading room uh, that does the same kind of thing as this space, which is one of my favorites in the whole campus. I love this space. 